This is smithy.tv. for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with writer, director, producer, and Horace Stanley. What inspired you to start N5 Pictures? Uh, coming right out of film school, I wanted to, uh, I was actually working on a few of the shoots that were um, in Toronto. At the time, there was a lot of Hollywood productions coming to Toronto. So I wanted to start a company just doing my own thing, videos, commercials, whatever I can get my hands on. Mm -hmm. And uh, on one of the Michael Douglas shoots, just on the downtime, I just built a website and I got a hit for uh, a music video. Mm -hmm. And then that transpired into three more videos, then six, then eight, and it just took off from there. So that's really how it started Great. back in 2003. Yeah. And how did you come up with the name M5? Uh, five's been my lucky number always. Oh. Always, yeah. When I go to the roulette table, I always bet on five. Uh, I lose a lot because of that, but um, I just, Five has always um, attracted me. I don't know why. Cool. And N? N is that's just for number. So number oh. five pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's all yeah. together. Yeah. Right. And you guys have some features in development right now. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the story behind those? Sure. Uh, we have the first feature that we did was in 2011 called Lost Journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got distribution for that. It's on Netflix. and went to the theaters. And because of that, Telefilm got involved. So now we're working with them um, on the next feature. And there's a couple of them, but they're all kind of sci-fi oriented. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, a thriller about mankind's return to a moon base mm -hmm. and, you know, catastrophe kind of happening there. Yeah. So that's really kind of what we're working on right now, trying to get some, uh, maybe an A-list or some B-list stars from Hollywood. So trying to bring up the level on the next on the next film. Absolutely. And do you like to stick to kind of a sci-fi fantasy genre? I do. I kind of really go I like all kinds of films, mm -hmm. you know, from dramas to comedies, but um, the sci-fi genre really kind of opens up, I guess, your creativity. Mm -hmm. as well. I mean, anything goes, anything you can think of, and the whole world building aspect of it is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you make up the rules, so that's nice. Yeah. And how do you go about choosing your projects? Uh, that's a difficult one because it seems that there's a lot of things that I'd like to do mm -hmm. and I get offers to work on other projects but really it's it all comes down to time you know there's so many hours in a day so you kind of how do you choose what you want to do mm -hmm. right um, even with the music videos and the commercials that's still the case even we try to do those but at the same time uh, features it's whatever grabs me the most I think whatever mm -hmm. story or whatever I think can be done at the time best mm -hmm. that's what I try to get uh, gravitate towards mm -hmm. what advice would you give to someone who's aspiring to make a feature film uh, there's there's a lot of things but one of them would probably be to uh, well the first thing would be just go out and do it mm -hmm. because I think well, at least for me, the first film when you're making it, you're, there's going to be a lot of problems and there's going to be a lot of things that you wish you did differently. So mm -hmm. I think it's better to just get that out of the way as soon as possible mm -hmm. and as cheaply as possible, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, you got to really love the project that you are working on because you're going to be stuck with it for a long time. Lost Journey came out in 2011, but we started in 2008. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was quite a lengthy process and you're going to be watching your own movie and reading your own script for a very, very long time. So. If you hate it just two months in, that's a problem, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And what initially inspired you to become a filmmaker? Uh, I wanted to be a filmmaker since I was 12 years old. Wow. Like, I always knew that. Everyone around me knew that. That was just the goal all the time. I, honestly, what it was, I'd like to say it was Citizen Kane or something like that, but it really wasn't. I went to the theater when I was 12 and a half. We snuck in because I think you had to be 13 or 14 at the time to watch Terminator 2. And when I saw that movie, it just... Like, I knew that's what I had to do. I knew that's where I needed to be somehow involved in that arena. So Great. since then, that's kind of been the inspiration. Great. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and on your projects and N5 films online? Uh, we have a website, N5 Pictures, that needs to, of course, be updated. There's always new work coming, but um, there's information on the website. Lost Journey has its own website, and uh, I'm on IMDb. 
all those kinds of things. Perfect. Um, we're out there on the web, so. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all your success, and I look forward to seeing your upcoming projects. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. so much. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.